What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Finally got my laptop back. That was an agonizing week without my laptop. I did not realize how much I, rel I rely on my laptop to do all my work. I mean, everything basically happens from my laptop. It's one of the main tools I use to advocate online, to do all of my um, activism. Basically, I need my laptop. So, grateful to have it back. Grateful to be able to put more content up for you guys. Now this video here, I thought I'd do a little video on vegan products and sometimes the non-vegan products that can slip under the radar. So when it comes to vegan products, basically I'm as vegan as it gets. I mean all my, all my hand creams, toothpaste, deodorant aftershave, my belts. Belts are easy to see skateboard belts, they're, they're like made of fabric. Even my toothbrush, floss. A few years ago I went through and, and cleared everything out. So, But this video is about some things that can sometimes slip under the radar. Recently I had a discussion with some other vegans about these Canon straps. So I've got Canon um, 70D and someone actually said to me that, that maybe there's a leather attachment on the camera at first and they also said that the strap has leather on it. So I, what I'm thinking is this part here because this part here is obviously synthetic, but it's this part here. So what I did is I ran Canon Australia, firstly about the the actual camera and if it had any leather attachments, they said no, it doesn't. So, and then later on, I rang them about the strap. I rang them about the strap and I said, does it have a leather attachment on the end? A, an, an animal skin leather. So they did some verification for me and they come back and they said, no, it's it doesn't have animal skin leather, it's synthetic leather. That is from Canon Australia. Now, if any of you guys have any other information that contradicts that, I'd love to hear it, but for now, I'm gonna take their, their word for it. Peeling it back a little bit, yeah, it definitely could be synthetic, so that's coming from Canon Australia. Don't take my word for it, give them a ring yourself if you've got one of these Canon straps. But that was uh, one of the first things. The second thing, now you are gonna, I don't know how many people know about this, but it's gonna spin you out. So when I was, so I've got these. When I was in the UK, I got um, a VR headset to do my advocacy, VR headset so you can show people what's happening inside a slaughterhouse, really good. So I've got these headphones, these so they can they can get, get in there and like get the sound, really good quality sound um, that cuts out the noise, noise from the outside. And these are Beats by Dre, okay? Pretty cool headphones, really good quality headphones, but after buy, after purchasing these, I got them second hand, so they weren't brand new, these were from a uh, used uh, product store. So that was good in a way because it's not directly funding the industry I'm about to tell you about. But the reason these aren't vegan is, can you guess? So those muffs here, these muffs, they're made of leather. Now, how do I know this? Someone actually uh, messaged me a few months back and, said, and asked me, Joey, do you know where you can find vegan uh, headphones? And I was like, vegan headphones, why? She goes, yeah, because a lot of them aren't vegan. And I was like, wow, wow, didn't realize that. But then I bought these, forgetting about it, and after after purchasing them, I remembered. And I, I thought I'd, I'd ring Apple, who owns Beats by Dre, to verify. So I rang Apple and they come back and they said, all of these Beats by Dre headphones use genuine leather. Genuine leather, okay? So that is one thing that I didn't know. And I was just like, wow. So. One, one thing I'm stuck on is I don't know what to do with these headphones. So I don't know whether just, I don't think it's a good idea just to throw them in the bin. Um, maybe I could donate them. The, the issue I have is I don't want to promote the use of leather. I, don't, I, I mean, I could get these reupholstered. What do you guys think in the comment section? Help me out with this. I could give them away or I could throw them in the bin. I don't, I don't know what to do with them. Help me out. Uh, uh, and also, alternatives. I've got these, these are some Philips ones. These are cheaper, these were $25, all right? I think these are about $200 in the store, but I bought them secondhand for about 60 pounds or whatever. These ones here, they're obviously synthetic. No issues with them, they were cheaper, but you know what? And they're not as good quality, but I don't care. I'd rather sacrifice quality than have skin on my ears or advocate with um, skin on the um, headphones. The next product was, okay, so these ones slipped under the radar for a long time, is a pair of uh, white shoes that I had. And it's a really interesting story of how I found out about this, this was what, what, what I wanted to focus on um, predominantly. So these shoes, are f they're a 2012 Nike. Uh, this is the exact make, model, and color of the ones that I had, and so 2012 Nike Wright. I've had them since October 2013, so a long time ago. I got them before I was even vegan. Here's a photo of me wearing them in 2014. So they look synthetic. These ones are really, really freaky because they look synthetic and it's really hard to tell because you can get shoes like that 
that look the same that are synthetic. So you gotta be really careful. But a girl that I met in the UK, she's been vegan for about 20 years, she actually brought it to my attention. The way she said it though, was so positive, so uplifting, and, and, and just basically giving me the heads up. And I was like, oh wow, thank you. So, so I did a bit of verification because they're so old, I couldn't find what that model was made of. But there are some newer models which do contain a leather upper, so that they are synthetic, but they do have a leather upper. That was, uh, my mind was blown. I felt a bit disgusted by that, and I got them disposed of straight away. I don't know whether giving them away is a good sort of a good solution because then you're basically giving them to someone else to I don't think promoting the, the use of leather is a good idea personally someone might like what those shoes look like and want to buy some themselves I'm glad that I, that this positive advocate she's such a positive advocate come up and just gave me an uplifting heads up and said hey you know like those shoes they might not be comp completely vegan had you checked them out so that's what I wanted to focus on like positive advocacy it actually made re me reflect on my advocacy as a vegan to non vegans you know, really lifting someone up and just informing them. It's a better way. It's definitely a better way. And it's a, a very positive way to make someone aware of, uh, of products. You just, you know, you just might not, not have even known. So that's basically the gist of it. They're, they're the ones that, the products that slipped under the radar. Um, what do you guys think in the comments section? Do you think it's good to give these products away? I mean, like when it comes to my shoes, I had them for nearly five years. Um, and now that I've just disposed of them, someone else could have got another four years out of them. But I don't want anyone to be thinking that it's okay to wear um, animal skin as well. So that's something to consider. Um, animal skin deserves to be buried in the ground because it's just, it's an innocent being that had their skin stolen from them basically. These Beats by Dre, should I get them reupholstered? Should I donate them to charity? I don't know, this is their, their $200 headphones. I could throw them in the bin. What do you guys think is the, the most ethical thing to do in this situation? The Canon straps, Canon Australia told me that that's synthetic. So we're on the winner with there. And you know what, like, it's great that I'm in a community where we can just lift each other up positively, help educate and inf inform each other in, in a positive way. And I think that's the way forward for this movement. So thanks heaps to my little UK friend who brought that to my attention. I wouldn't have known otherwise. I'm just, I'm just grateful that I didn't buy any new products that uh, contain leather because then that would be directly funding the industry and I would be a little bit more upset with myself if that was the case. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my Patreons who have given me just the overwhelming amount of support and I'm able to do my activism full time, not have to worry about going to work and, and ruining my momentum that I build up. And I've got a lot to give and a lot more to do and I've got a lot planned for the future. Thanks so much for all your love and support and this community is just an amazing, positive, caring community of vegans that I'm actually so proud to be a part of. Leave your comments and discussions down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much.